Good morning guys from another video here in Sri Lanka, specifically in a place called Sigiriya where we drove up to yesterday. I'm with the boys here at 6.30 a.m. Good morning, Subo Dankana, Subo Desana. We've got King Ali, we've got the British Subo legend. Desana. Still on Colombia time. Yeah. So but like the, 10 hours behind. Exactly, so the guy was thinking about grabbing a beer here. Just kidding. And then we got Mr. Demant over here. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, everyone's becoming very fluent in the local language here. And so where we're at guys right now is our Airbnb. If you didn't see that video that came out yesterday, check it out. We did a bit of a tour here. It's way out in the jungle. It's far from everything, but it's got a nice peaceful vibe. And our friend here who manages this place is actually making us some coffees. So we're gonna get some coffees in us. We're gonna get the hairy look going. Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna have that look and then we're heading straight to the mountain. We're supposed to have a tuk-tuk guy coming to pick us up. Rickshaw, three-wheeler actually, as they call him here. And he's the one who drove us into town for dinner last night, but there is no sign of the Machan. So we'll let you guys know if we're actually going to the rock because this could be an actually very delayed video if we're walking. Another coffee in process. Astute. Are you gonna stop this one or not? Am I gonna what? Are you gonna stop this coffee? Oh yeah, you already know, bro. Thank you so much. So guys, we've got some fresh coffees, Astute. And they are gonna be delish. We had one actually last night and it really got us wired here. Oh, they are fresh and hot. So let's get these going. We've got the, we got one man in boot camp here. We've got a graduated boot camp guy just showing the uh, original boot camp guy how to get it done. Let's go. Oh, we walking, baby. We got the full lesson and no days off. Guys, disregard the fact that I said the tuk tuk driver was not here yet. None of us were uh, smart enough this morning because we hadn't had our coffees yet two and we're all finishing them we got one down mine's already down can the man finish it and let's see if he's actually wired from it we'll see how good it actually works <laughs> whoa <laughs> all right it's kicking in I'm ready. and luke luke couldn't finish it but I he tried off, he tried but anyways guys our tuk tuk driver was actually in the back hanging out for us he's a good man Estuti, see you so it's gonna be a very tight ride actually it's four gentlemen in the tuk tuk Machang, yeah. Komada, Subodesana Machang. Subodesana. All right. Komada, Honda. Okay. All right. Hop in, boys. Yeah. <laughs> the dog's like, no, please don't leave us. I can't believe it rained. All right, so here we go. The boys are going to try and squeeze in here. How do we do this again? So we got, uh, ah, now I got a bag. Ah. You got up and over last time? Yeah. In process. <laughs> All right guys, as you can see here, uh, let me tell you this, we are straight men, but uh, this might make you question that uh, we support all, but uh, yeah. This you gotta is, do what's efficient. <laughs> we yeah, can't pay for two tuk tuks. Exactly. <laughs> we, were, we were quoted 5,000 for a ride to Sigria yesterday, so we're like, no way we're paying 5,000 for a 20 minute ride there and back. So. We we're like, let's get a tuk tuk. Let's keep the uh, keep the cost low here. And now the squad is cruising in here. And what's your good name, my friend? Your name? Ruan. Ruan, that's right. Ruan the man. He's taking us here. Actually, he woke up in the middle of a storm last night to drive here at uh, to arrive at 6:30 a.m. I want to say he arrived even a little earlier than that. And so now we're cruising through a muddy terrain, heading to the rock. Whoa. As you can see guys, we got some serious traffic coming through here. It's definitely uh, top five most, and by most I mean least, comfortable rides I have ever been on. Guys, if you saw in yesterday's video where we drove up on the bus, or the little minivan basically. I got the front seat, so this is the third time that I'm getting the uh, best, and by best I mean absolute worst possible seat of my entire life in the tuk tuk. We got to even it out. Yeah, yeah, the literally. Get the equilibrium. <laughs> yeah, but that two hour ride up on the uh, bus up front was, I guess, kind of makes up for it. But each one of these rides is slowly, uh, slowly changing my mind here. So, as you can see, there's literally no room anywhere. Maybe up top. Yeah, that's true. Honestly, it would almost be com more comfortable than right now. But like we've literally, since I started this video, it's been like 15 minutes. We're still on these like super bumpy roads, so. It is a journey, but trust me guys, you'll want to continue watching because where we're about to take you is going to blow your mind.
guys, the good news is, is I just got a light bulb here, and I'm sitting on this tiny little ledge, as you can see. I can't promise you it's the uh, the safest thing ever, but I'll tell you, it's at least more comfortable. My neck was hurting so bad, and we still have a few more minutes left on the road. So now I'm, I'm pretty much your guys' driver now. Uh, so much rough. Yeah, life is back to normal. You can see, guys, it's a little, it's a little shway shway tight. Goodbye, Machongs. Just a couple minutes away. We're starting to see a little breakthrough of sun there. You guys know me. I prefer my sunny days any day, especially when we're going to climb up and see some incredible views. Oh, but I'll tell you, it does not get any more comfortable up here. Slightly with my neck, but with this little metal thing I'm sitting on. To be honest, the only way I can sit in this position is when we're on a paved and comfortable road, because if we were on the bumpy road right now, I don't know if that'd be doable. We must be getting close though, because like every other sign's like Sigria Hotel, Sigria Casino, Sigria Shop, I Heart Sigria. We've got Sigria Dogs right here. Down boy Sigria! Thank you, Amachan. Update guys, I think we're lost, but I don't blame them. There's Sigria signs everywhere, but there's no actual rock in sight. And this rock's supposed to be pretty big. Looks like we've got room for activities over here. Some sort of horse carriage there village tours oh no it's an ox tour a mule tour wow oh the rain the rain has just started now again i'm hyundai too thank you Oh, oh. ah, oh. All right, uh, you wait here. That's good. Very good. 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 So which way is Sigiria? This way, sir. Okay. Come, I will take you. Uh, Where do we get tickets, Machang? Come, I will show you the ticket of this and everything. Yeah. I'm a side guide. Oh, it's a foreign ticket. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm what? a side guide. Yeah, no problem. We don't need a guide, my friend. Oh, okay. Thank you, though. Oh, thank you very much. Machang, uh, two hours? No. Yeah? Okay. Astute. Astute, Machang. Guys, so when you saw when you first walk in, you could see the guides all standing there. So you have a guide if you want, or you can just walk right over to the foreign ticket counter. And it's got a nice little uh, pathway leading up to it right over here, as you see. Little river flowing under. That is a crazy, crazy tree. We are entering this place. Well, maybe not. No, I think this is just the ATM. Oh man, now Luke literally just got us behind this massive line of people. Oh, get out of here, Tarzan. <laughs> oh yeah, we, they're going into they're going into fourth gear. Keep your tickets secure. Buy tickets here or we go? Ah. Tickets there, all right. Maybe we did need a tour guide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the Sigria Museum, local tickets only, foreign tickets in museum. That makes sense because there's a gift shop there. So we're going down this way, guys. You've got the main spot, you got the pond over here, and then it is a nicely designed layout though. As you can see, like there's a lot of stuff to look at when you're walking in. I actually have no idea where, why I'm wearing my backpack like that. Maybe just try and dodge it from the rain. Because I thought we were getting a little peak of sunlight and that's definitely not the case. Oh, here we are, Sigria Museum. And we are heading in, guys. Subodesana Machang. Subodesana. Subodesana. Komada. Can I pay with credit card? No, only cash, sir. Only cash. Uh, US dollars or? Just dollars so, though. So just rupees, yeah? Uh, one ticket. One ticket, one ticket uh -huh. please. Six thousand nine hundred. Nine for one hundred. No, I don't, I'm sorry. Sarak nations are required to produce passports for discount. Oh, I wonder if I'm a Sark nation. South Asia area regional corporation. How are you? Thank you. you okay? Uh, I really know. So we've got uh, $30, they don't accept cards here, and the exchange rate's pretty similar to the bank rate, 6090 
to basically get into Sigria. And there's a big rock and a smaller rock here. Let's go. Guys, we just teleported back over to the ticket booth, except this time we actually have our tickets. So we're gonna walk through and tell Sigiria this morning, Subo Desena. Hello, and we'll get that thing scanned right there. Estuti. All right, we're entering Sigria. We've got a uh, little bridge we're crossing too. Like the mod, like the canal. Oh yeah. You know this mod before you saw so many crocodiles here. Oh, crocodiles, yeah? So yes. we're getting eaten? Yes. Mm. Let me ask you one question though. Why so serious? I don't know. Ha <laughs> ha, got him. You see his hat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As you guys can see, we hit a bit of the bottleneck with the tourist right here, but it's uh, the photo spot. And you look up here, we've got Sigria, guys. You've already got some people who actually probably did make it up for sunrise, which is the thing that we tried to do but didn't actually achieve. But anyways, it's raining here at the moment, so it's not like we're missing much for the sunrise. Subodesana Machans. Subodesana? Yeah, very good. Subodesana. Guys, so we're about five minutes into the walk. Basically, it's like you see through this whole area, there's artifacts and various gardens, I think you would call them. And then when you get to the rock, it's just like straight up. Like there's, I think it's 1200 stairs. Drop a comment below if that's off. I thought I remember reading that. But in any event, it's a lot of stairs right now. We just have a couple staircases we're going into and you have some really beautiful designs. I mean, like this is, this is almost like a wonder of the world, how there's just such massive boulders here. And you can actually see when you look closely on the rocks, there's carvings. It almost looks like there's even steps to get up it. Like on some of them, the way they're kind of chiseled out. But you got to be careful if you're here in the rain, especially with flat bottom shoes like I have. It is slippery. See you, brother. Goodbye, my friend. And the pack's already weeding out. I think Ali, go with Ali, got uh, afraid of heights with Ali. Is the uh, new name there. There's so much water, you might drown. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, all right, Boulder Arch. 27 as you can see tight little passageway here. All right now I see why it's $30 to get in you have spiral staircases up there a lot of infrastructure around this rock I'm very curious if people ever you're probably not allowed But if anyone's ever been like able to rock climb the side of this all the way up because that would be like an absolute expert level climb I know I can tell you just getting up the stairs is gonna be tough. Honestly when I look up I almost like lose my balance right now Yeah, the guys can't keep up anytime now the American leading from the front Uh-huh Hey, they can't keep up, it's all right, you know? It's an American versus an Australian, Iraqi, British, you know, that's all right. I could run up this thing. Until the camera stops recording. <laughs> <laughs> the climb is beginning now, guys. We've got a long way up. As you can see, honestly, it's actually kind of nice now that it's raining on us, because it's keeping us a bit cooled off. Hopefully we can find a guy up at, t at the top that can get us some water. And there it is. What are we doing down there, Sire? I'm guessing that, Sire. I wish I did more sessions in the gym. Uh-huh. What a preferred pregame, and this was some cardio. But, you know, we're getting there slowly but surely. One step at a time, 1,200 to go. Oh, let's see. This one's go out with Ali, in case he can't keep going. <laughs> you had enough, Ali? Oh, I want to check that out there. Oh, slide all the way down. Uh-huh. <laughs> slide. <laughs> yeah. Go with Ali. <laughs> oh. Ali's getting over his fears right now. <laughs> oh, oh my phone. Oh, oh, that thing almost went down. Karma got Did him good. He's <laughs> <laughs> tweaking. <laughs> hi ho, hi ho, off to Sigria we go. So, what does Komada. Hyundai. Hyundai? Hyundai, Hyundai. Thank you. We got the dragon's claws. We've got one vlogger, two vlogger, three vloggers, four vloggers. This place is being no, taken over. <laughs> there we go. As you can see guys, nice views, scary stairs for Ali, and they start to get a little bit uh, steeper, I'll tell you that. Whew. But it's a good workout, and we've got some uh, breakthrough of the sun too, that's a good sign. Subo desana, my friend. Oh yeah, these views are getting better and better. Don't look down, oh! I'm trying not to look anywhere. <laughs> But actually, we're making good timing, guys. As you can see, we're moving. You would think we uh, we do cardio for a living, but I'll tell you, it's far from the truth. Huh? We gotta get some video. Bro, I'll walk next to you. Face your fears, bro. You can do it, bro. Don't worry, I'll share the footage. Astuti <laughs> Machang. Astuti Machang. Don't worry, this next staircase is, is less scary, bro. Yeah? Because it goes against the rock. Can you submit? <laughs> Here he goes. Rock. Ali did not expect this. He did not expect this. <laughs> it looks like I was expecting it. <laughs> yeah, no way. 
But look at these magical views behind them. Though, oh, guys, look at the clouds are coming in. We have this mystical forest look as you get some very light sun breakthrough. Estute Machang, that's very kind of you. Guys, as you can see, we've got a full on escort at this point. And so the views are going to be worth it. Look at that sun. Come on, sun, I believe in you. Breakthrough. Let's get her going. Guys, we have made it up to the top here. I'll tell you, as I'm walking around here, this stuck out to me right away. You're probably like, the views didn't, but when I've climbed to some of these places, some of them were pretty, pretty littered. So it's nice to see that we have a little recycling pot right down there. And here we go. We've got actually a similar design to the area at the base of the rock. But of course, the views are slightly better than at the base of the rock. So we're going to give you guys a little tour around this place. The sun has literally come out just in time to show us the mystical mountains in the distance. And... Let me tell you this, I am very impressed. Maybe a little sweaty guys though, but uh, it was actually a much easier walk up to the top than I expected. And I'll be honest with you, like I don't do that much cardio. I walk around cities and stuff, but the incline, you're probably like, this dude's saying it wasn't that bad, but he's huffing and puffing. That's true, you got me. But we're climbing up here. Hello, Saya. Hello, Saya. Raise the jaw bridge. Raise the jaw bridge. I need a chicken thigh. <laughs> so we're getting the tour we didn't ask for. Palace, palace, palace. Oh, we're going to the palace. Whoa. Oh, what do we got going on here? Damaging archaeological is an offense. Makes sense. That sign says handcuffs right there. Ah. Uh, cooling off the body. Ah. Uh. Well, we have Ali over there near the ledge. That probably means scared of heights with Ali. How are you feeling now? I feel amazing. Well, now that the clouds, you can't see there's a drop. Oh, you got a new friend. Whoa. All right, guys, we took a little like 20 minute break. If you're up here and the clouds come out like it happened right when we got up here, you wait a little bit and we're getting a little more cloud, a little less cloud coverage actually coming around this way. Really beautiful views. You can see for miles and miles and miles, or in some cases for kilometers, kilometers and kilometers. But oh, wow, look at the grand entrance walking in. It looks so much cooler now from up top. Oh. All right, guys, let's check this out. Wow, look at that. Really a phenomenal design here. So we basically walked from there over to the ticket booth, then basically all along this pathway up to the top of here. And that got us to Sigria. You can see vloggers in every direction. There's a wild Luke demand. I don't know where. Oh, there's a uh, wild hairy jagod. There's a go with Ali. Hello, Saya. I am the emperor. Your king. So, guys, we have spotted a wild monkey here, and he's coming out to get a GoPro. Oh, there he goes. He's looking for something. He must be looking for chow. Oh, uh oh. He heard me. The monkeys have been following me. If you guys saw, monkeys broke into my hotel room the other day. If you missed that video, check the link in the description. We're seeing where this little guy's going. And there he goes. He's looking for some chow or something. Come get chow, my little friend. Come here, buddy. Yeah. Luke's gonna get attacked. He always gets attacked by monkeys. He's just mooning Luke right now. <laughs> I will say guys, this is an absolutely incorrect comparison, but it kind of looks like what I imagine Machu Picchu to look like. Slightly, you know, at the top, high up, except Machu Picchu is way higher in the mountains. But you have kind of a similar feel to it. But uh, make sure that subscribe button, so that way when I go to Peru at some point in the next couple of years, you can confirm if this assumption is on point. Ah, oh, you guys made it up. Yeah. Oh, these these are our these are our friends we uh, saw at Slightly Chilled Lounge probably like four videos ago. Oh, you mean I'm yeah. gonna be on? Oh YouTube? yeah, because I think you guys were on the table where I was like, yeah, 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 filming. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The fire was happening. Yeah, when the fire was happening, all of a sudden yeah. I was like, whoa, there's an explosion. Because yeah. everyone yeah. like started jumping over the railing. Remember what's our yeah. minutely rate for? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. What was that, guys? I, oh, they're, they're telling me I got to go. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Enjoy your time. See you. That's how you know we've been in Sri Lanka for a while, guys. Starting to see people that we've seen in other places. And here we go. Hello. Hello. All right, Machang. Oh, and we almost fell off the mountain there. All right. So let's go. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm loving this. Everyone's hopping on the camera now. Wow. All right. Now we're going to do the hike back down. Let's see if Ali's actually over his height fear. I don't think so, though. So we're doing descend with Ali. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Descend with Ali. So, guys, you can actually see the little rock now. It's just right over here now that the clouds are coming out. It looks like a nice view as well. Not as impressive, of course, but still, still quite beautiful. And let's see. 
Yeah, now that the stairs are soaking wet, you can just look at how slippery that is. Ooh, that's gonna be a scary one. Oh, we've got some nice views right there. All right, here we go, guys. We're getting some proper views. How are we doing there, Ali? Oh, good, good. This is amazing. Oh, he's holding on to that. We're yelling like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. Mm-hmm. All right, bro, you got to go this speed. It is so much easier going down than it is up. It's just a breeze. And you get a kind of a new view because you're just cruising down. A lot of the times when you're working hard to get down the, you climb up the steps, then sometimes you miss the views. And so now that we're cruising down, we have less cloud coverage too. And there we go. There's the boys. Go any slower, we'll have to check you guys for a pulse. Bro, next next up, you're gonna climb Ambulu Wawa Tower. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, here, are you gonna start speaking? <laughs> we got Pablo Harry Cobar coming out. <laughs> We got the exit right here guys and a little little panoramic view taking us around the rock it's a nice tour honestly guys you can probably do this whole thing if you're pretty quick at uh, walking up and you have a clear day in probably an hour and a half like we hung out at the top for maybe 30 45 minutes just because we wanted to get some views and right when we got to the top the clouds came up but you know it depends on how much time you want to stay up there there was a guy i saw painting so if you're into painting you can paint some nice beautiful views especially because you have the walkway up you got the buddha temple in the distance and just a bunch of mountains in the horizon so if i was a painter you best believe i'd be spending the whole day up there as usual the foreigners can't keep up. British, Iraqi, and Australians are way behind the American. We are enjoying the scenery. <laughs> now they can't keep up, you know? All this cardio. Subodasana machang. Komada. Good drinks here? Cold ones? What do you want? How much for uh, Coke's, uh, Coke Zero? 200 rupees. 200 rupees. All right, that's a bargain. Astute machang. Thank you, machang. Much needed. This should be a Coke commercial. Ah, the refreshing feeling of Sigria. All right. Oh, my friend. So we're doing a little market run here. It looks like we've got some nice things to buy. Very. Did you hand carve this yourself? Wow. Wow. See, I would love to buy this one, but the problem is, is it might break when I travel with it. It'll never break. But when I travel, there's no problem. That's a nice one. And how much do you sell a carving like that? Four thousand. Four thousand. Okay. And I have to donate. Oh, very nice. Only a day salary. Oh, that's very nice. What about uh, magnets? This is 100. Oh, yeah. 200. Plus 300. Plus 300. Can you pick out 10 of your best magnets for me? Yes. Perfect. That's 1,000? A 1,000? From this. Ten of them, one thousand. Oh, and then what are the what are the prices of the other ones? Two hundred, three hundred, those three hundred, those two hundred. Oh, all right. Let's mix and match to equal one thousand then. So we'll get uh, actually let's let's get maybe two elephants. Two of them. That's yeah, good quality, yeah. Yeah. Oh, perfect. And then maybe one of those. That's uh two hundred or three hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. All right. So that we're up to four hundred and three hundred. What about the uh, Sri Lanka? All right, let's try the blue one and all right i think that'll do perfect thank you my friend oh there we go guys you got a proud new owner of uh four magnets here they're looking pretty fresh guys after you walk up the mountain i don't know if you can see it let me see if i can get it i don't know if you can see that but my leg was like shaking a little bit whenever you walk downstairs like after you do a mountain climb there's something about it that it's like i, mean, I think it's pretty hard on your knees and you can just feel it when you get to the bottom oh these are beautiful right here i wish i could take that elephant one with me it's so nice gown boy oh oh there he goes that's why he's like going oh, banana <laughs> oh now the whole squad's coming out the whole squad is coming out uh oh uh oh they are taking over guys and it is starting to rain goodbye my friends nice little monkey do you want to vlog Guys, that's it. That was a pretty oh, fun time. Hopefully you'll get a little luckier than we did and you'll get some sun because now we're already getting rained on again. Subodesana machan. Komada machan. Komada machan. They like my Senegalese. Hello machan. Thank you for waiting for us, my friend. All right, guys, I'm most likely going to teleport us to the cafe because it's raining out. You've already seen how we're hanging here and I want to be safe on this ride. So see you there. And boom, guys. Just made it back to the villa. 
and it was a nice little morning actually we got all of that done by what time is it now 10 40 so it's always nice when you wake up really early in the morning and you can get started unfortunately the weather was a bit of a bummer but you know at the end of the day it was still a really beautiful view up there kind of added a little bit of a uh, mystical experience anyways so can't complain and so thank you guys so much for watching as always if you want to see more videos both here in sri lanka as well as all around the world hit that subscribe button below if you're not already subscribed and smash that like button if you guys have enjoyed this one and i will see you in tomorrow's video